One of the co-authors of the public option was Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, who says it wouldn't mean bigger government, but rather more stable coverage. People needed reassurance that this public option won't put the insurance companies out of business. And I, I, we wrote it in a way that it will not put them out of business. I, I want insurance companies to compete. I want them to get better. I want them to no longer game the system by excluding people for pre-existing condition and discriminating against people because of age or gender or geography or disability. Republican Congressman Bob Latta also weighed in tonight after the president's speech. He said, in part, many concerns still linger about the legislation itself, with a final price tag of over $1 trillion financed with tax hikes and fees, no guarantee that people will be able to keep their current coverage if they are satisfied, and an unprecedented expansion of federal government. The bill before the House will do more harm than good to our current health care system. Latta also said he hopes the president's call for bipartisan negotiations is taken seriously.